Becky, thank you for meeting with us today. Thanks for having me. So you grew up in Botswana. Mm -hmm. Tell me what that was like. I was born and raised in Botswana. It was good growing up. I learned a lot of things from my grandmother. She inspired me in a lot of ways. Sounds like you have strong women in your family. Yes, yeah. I do. I get a lot of strength from my grandmother. I applied to colleges in three different countries. I took the opportunity to come to Rhode Island. I came here to study for travel and tourism management. Just around the time when I was about to decide to go back to my country, I met my children's father. He was on a motorcycle and he kept on beeping the horn. That was the second time he saw me and we ended up exchanging our contacts and we started speaking from there and one thing led to another. The relationship started kind of getting serious and I moved in with him. And then at what point did you have children? We dated for two years and then I got pregnant with my daughter and uh, everything was fine. He was the breadwinner. I was basically depending on him for everything. And after I had my son, things wasn't the same. Things started to get a little toxic. He started getting worse by the day, worse by the day. Domestic violence, a lot of fighting, a lot of bickering, a lot of sadness from my side. I can still remember seeing the pain in my kids' eyes. I wasn't going to go another day looking at my kids' sad faces like that. I was not. You took care of your children. You did something incredibly brave. <laughs> One point the police came and one of the police talked to me in a corner. He's like, you know, you can run away. You can go to a shelter. I can get you a few numbers. But I had to get them out of that. My son cried every day there. All he did was cry, eat, go back to sleep. Cry, eat, go back to sleep. It's one of my friends, Barbara. We planned the escape. So he left one day and I took my kids belongings, the most that I could get, few clothes, birth certificates, social security cards, took whatever I could take, I kept the babies and I left. And we went to the shelter. And what was it like once you knew you had them out of that environment? I felt so free. I felt so free and I felt so much relief, so much weight was off my shoulder. I felt peaceful. And my son never cried again. He slept. Throughout the night, he woke up, he was happy. He was just a normal baby. Being at the shelter wasn't easy. It's not the most glamorous thing, but it, it, like I said, it's not about the comfort, it's about being safe, right? Crossroads helped me. I had caseworkers, the management, they're very, very helpful, they really care. We had to be productive, get things done, get things moving, apply for places to stay, finding schools, finding jobs, making things happen, making moves. I went to Kingston Crossings, Crossroads referred me to that, and I filled out the paperwork, and then they had a place for me in the kids. It was like a three-bedroom apartment that we stayed in, and uh, we've been staying there since. When I moved in the first day, I was playing music, I had wine. <laughs> it was so liberating to just be in your own space. What was it like for you being homeless with two children? And what do you want other people to understand about that? Being homeless with small children is one of the hardest things. Escaping domestic violence and finding a place like a shelter is the best thing you can do for yourself and your children. You were blessed with those children for you to be responsible. Get up and get them out of there. Don't worry about who's going to say what, what your neighbors are going to think, what your friends are going to think. This can end up being fatal. Talk to your friends. Somebody will listen and somebody will help you. It's the best decision I could have ever made. 
I'm glad I'm here today to talk about it and I'm, I'm alive. My kids are doing well. Yeah, it's yeah. a beautiful success story. Thank you. That came out of your bravery. Thank you. And you know what? We are women. We have superpowers. We can do anything. Absolutely.